Welcome back to Nina Renee Knows. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a second data set, but I was asked how would you add a new header for the second data set. So that is what I'm going to show you today. So you have your RS report with the first data set. I'm going to quickly add a second data set to it. I'll link below the video that details how to add a second data set if you'd like to see that. So I'm going to quickly add a second data set to my report. So go to report data, add the fields you want and the second data set. And remember to have all the data sets and the tables aligned correctly otherwise you'll get merge columns and I'll link that below as well. So I'm going to make it all online so I did a little bit of color formatting to make it look pretty and now we are ready to add the second header. I'm going to drag the second data set down a little to make space for our text box and I'm going to go to the toolbox and bring in the text box field. I'm going to drag it over to our now empty space and um, like I just said I'm going to make it a line. So I'm just going to drag it over to the left a little bit and make sure they're all good. I'm going to add the header for the second data set, which is going to be called data set 2. And I'm just doing a little bit of color formatting. It's not required. Okay, so now we see that I have two headers, but what if you want the second data set and the second data set header to start on the next page? Go back to design view and click on the, the first data set, right click on it and click on text tablix properties for the first data set, and then click on add a, pra a page break after data set one. Add a page break after data set one, and that will take everything after data set one, which means data set two header and data set two, and put it on the next page. So we preview it. We see we now we have two pages. Go to go to the second page, and now we see that the header for data set two and data set two are on page two. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up so that others can see it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!